Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Craig here. We're gonna do another quick reading lesson with a new book called Tickly Octopus. It's written by Ruth Galloway. But before we get into the book, I need you to grab a piece of paper and pencil. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with this book. On your piece of paper, please draw five boxes. In the first box, we're going to put character and setting. In the second box, we're going to put conflict and resolution. And in the bottom three boxes, we're going to do beginning, middle, and end. You may pause the video if you need just a minute to draw these. Remember, they don't have to be perfect boxes. I'm just looking that you're trying your best. Okay, you can go ahead and put the title at the top. Tickly Octopus. It's a cute new book. New to me. I hadn't heard of it before, but it's really cute. I hope you'll enjoy it. Tickly Octopus, written by Ruth Galloway. The author will be Ruth Galloway. Ruth Galloway. All right, let's get started. Tickly Octopus. You can already tell the setting. What's it gonna be? It's not a farm. It's the ocean or sea. You can go ahead and put that part. The setting is the ocean or sea. Down in the ocean among the swirling seaweed and the colorful coral lived a tickly octopus. He had eight twisty, twirly tentacles, and he loved to use them to tickle. When octopus tickled the little fish, they jumped and jiggled and wiggled and giggled. They thought tickling was tons of fun. But most of all, the creatures found his tickly tiresome. Octopus tickled starfish and made her squirm. Stop it, she squeaked. Octopus tickled clickety-clackety crab, and crab tripped and tumbled in the sand. Go away, he snapped. But I'm a tickly octopus. I'm really good at tickling, said Octopus sadly. And he swam off to tickle the wiggly, giggly fish again. One day, Octopus saw Oyster snoozing among the seashells. He couldn't resist giving her one teeny tiny little tickle. But Oyster woke up with a jump and dropped her precious pearl. Ping, bip, boing, and it bounced all over the rocks and, swept, and was swept away by the current. Oh no, gasped Octopus. Poor, poor, poor Oyster was very upset. Sorry, said Octopus. I'll get it back for you. So if you'd like to, you may pause the video. We just found out the conflict or the big problem. There's two here. The first one is people, fish, animals are getting tired of octopus tickling them. They're telling them stop, go away. That's the first problem. The second problem is he tickled the oyster and the oyster lost the pearl. So there are two problems in this story. Grab your graphic organizer, your boxes, and you can write conflict or problem. And tell me what's wrong. What's wrong in the story? You can draw a picture of it or write it. Let's keep reading and we'll find out the resolution or how the problems are solved, both problems. Octopus raced through the water with a swoosh and a whoosh. Wee, he thought. I never knew I could be so super speedy. Whoosh. Octopus followed the pearl as it tumbled to the bottom of the sea. Wow, he thought. I never knew I could swim so deep.
At last, Octopus reached the pearl, but plink, plank, plop. Oyster's precious pearl bounced all over the rocks again, and it slipped through a small gap in the ocean floor. Octopus squished and squashed and heaved and squeezed. He managed to push his rubbery body through the gap. Oh, he thought, I never knew I could be so slinky. There, glinting eyes in the darkness with a smooth, shiny pearl. But just behind it was a fierce eel. Yikes, squeaked Octopus. He quickly picked up the pearl and sped away. Give me that pearl, roared the eel. Octopus huffed and puffed as the eel chased him. He'd swum such a long way, he was very tired. But the eel was getting closer and closer. With a spurt and a squirt and a bleck the, and a scletch, the octopus sprayed a cloud of black ink. The eel couldn't see a thing. Oh my, thought octopus. I never knew I could be so inky. He danced happily back to Oyster. Oyster was delighted to get her pearl back. I promise I won't ever tickle you again, Octopus said. I found lots of other things I'm good at doing. From now on, I'll be a speedy, deep sea, slinky, inky octopus. But I'll still like to a little tickly too. And there's a cool picture. I just like the sea, all the different sea creatures. All right, boys and girls, that's the end of the book. So you'll want to grab your graphic organizer. We know the characters, the octopus is the main one. You could put octopus and other sea animals, or you can list all of the animals in the book. It's up to you, or you can draw them. I would love to see some creative drawings of these ocean animals. The setting, the ocean. The conflict, there were two. The other animals were getting tired of him tickling and he, the oyster lost the pearl. The resolution is how they solve those two problems. Well, I'm gonna let you listen, think back to the book or re rewind the video, back up the video and write down the two resolutions. I'll tell you one, Octopus discovered he's good at other things too, not just tickling. All right, then you'll wanna put the beginning, the middle, and the end of the book. Then get mom, dad, or someone you love to send me your work. I can't wait to see your good work. You're doing awesome work, I'm so proud of you. Thanks for listening to my story, Tickly Octopus. Remember to read some good books, boys and girls. I'm so proud of you. I miss you every single day. And I like seeing you on Zoom and Seesaw and Dojo any way possible. I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye.